are out here at Rainbow Falls. Um, gonna do some off-roading. It shouldn't be as snowy here as it was at Switzerland Trail. Um, so I've, cause I've come alone. So hopefully I don't get stuck. There's not great cell service out here too. So that would kind of suck. Um, just gonna take a look just kind of at the rules, you know, always make sure you follow the rules, especially when we're out here on these uh, public lands. You don't want to screw it up for everyone else. So just taking a look at the map here. Um, this is where we are right here at Rainbow Falls. But yeah, I'm excited. Haven't, haven't had many opportunities to take this thing off-roading yet. I'm having a lot of fun out here. Rainbow Falls OHV area. It's good. And it's open year round. There's not a lot of OHV riding like you can do in general in Colorado in the winter. It's definitely a summertime thing. Um, it's really, really pretty out here in the summer and that's, you know, big, big factor. And then obviously snow is everywhere and that can make off-roading a lot trickier. Um, to make it a lot more fun too but definitely an element to consider but i'm having a blast out here it's beautiful there's like nobody here i had read online that it gets super crowded especially you got a lot of side by sides uh ripping it around the turns which can be kind of dangerous but yeah i've seen like one jeep one pickup truck and one side by side today in like the last few hours so very very quiet out here right now it's awesome by the way before i forget don't forget to like and subscribe drop a comment if you like the video uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos that i should do anything even any criticism you might have uh you know it all helps really appreciate just even taking the time to watch this video So I found this awesome little campsite. I'm definitely gonna come out here uh, in the next few weeks and make a camping video. Just waiting to get a couple of the things I need in here set up and then she'll be, uh, she'll be ready to camp in. So it'll be awesome. Take a look at these views. Pike National Forest is one of my one of my favorite forests or places to go in Colorado um, that's fairly close to Denver. You know, it's only you can get to Rampart Range and, and where I am here, Rainbow Falls, in about an hour. And I mean, it's just beautiful. You feel like you're you're so far away from from everything very peaceful, very quiet out here. You can see some of the uh, some of the mountains over there. That might be Pike's Peak. I'm not 100% sure. I'll check a map when I get home and let you guys know. So 
So I had been wheeling for a couple of hours at this point, and I had all of the footage that I needed. Uh, I was going to actually wrap it up and head home, and then I saw this little creek, and I figured I have to do at least one shot of a river crossing or creek crossing, and I'll let you guys see for yourselves how that turned out. I feel like an idiot. Ah, oh, boy. That was way deeper than I thought. Sitting on the frame there. I just got my ass saved by some some good Samaritans out on the trail. Um, if you're out off-roading, you ever get stuck? When we get you a area, I'm going to have to check out that uh, Bronco of yours. Absolutely. Generally, people are really friendly, willing to help out. Um, you know, this is why you don't go off-roading alone. I came out here telling myself, there's no way I'm gonna get stuck. And that is exactly what happened. So that's kind of disappointing. I kind of, that's entirely on me. It's not even the car's fault. It's my fault for not following basic off-road principles and checking where, how deep a river crossing is before you try to do it. Exceptionally stupid on my part. That could have gone really bad. Could have been stuck out here for a long time. Very, very fortunate that they happen to be literally right around the corner. So, yeah, I'll have to pay it forward if I ever get the opportunity to help out some people. It's just part of uh, part of the sport. It's good fun. Remember, kids, always go off roading with friends. <laughs> Don't be like me and get yourself stuck. With nobody to help you. You have to go walking up the road and pray that you can come across a group of people or you're pretty screwed. So, in all seriousness though, that, that actually was probably the most nerve-wracking situation I've ever been in off-roading. Um, moral of the story, don't attempt things that you're not 100% sure of if you're alone. Because when it goes wrong, and it will go wrong eventually, you're in for a pretty bad time. So I ended up spending the rest of the day wheeling on a couple other trails with my new friends Chris and Paul, as well as their families. And I have to say it was a blast. Um, they showed me some really awesome trails in the area. Uh, I got to do a little bit of you know, real obstacles, and there wasn't as much snow, so it was pretty nice. Coming over, nice and slow. Perfect, all right, bring it right there. A little bit that way, right, come on. One foot, six inches, you're at the edge. Nice and slow, you're gonna come down, you're probably gonna hit on this side again. Nice and slow, perfect. Now, yep, right there, come forward.
Yep, keep coming. Looking good. Another drop, it's about six inches. Passenger side, perfect. Your back end's about to come down, six inches. Nice and slow, keep going. You're down. Just roll it nice and slow. <laughs> so slick. How far back can I go? Uh, like a foot. There? Yeah, I wouldn't go much further than that. winch or I got to go back. <laughs> Probably faster to just go back. Yeah. I'll give it a try. I am up against the bank. I hit Paul with some mud. <laughs> so what happens is as you come up it's off centered enough that it kicks the car around, you know what I mean? That's what's happening is as you're coming up, the, pass the driver's side hits something and kicks the whole passenger side over towards the bank. Well, and his, feel the kick, right? his driver's wheel's coming right up. Yeah, the front end pops up, but it gets right there. Yeah. And it's just slick. There's no grip there at all. Is it traction mat. It probably is. Should I get that traction mat? <laughs> traction mat? <laughs> just right there. You know what? I'm just curious. Come forward, slow, just try to roll forward. Yeah, and turn to the right a bit. Yeah, right there. Straight at me. Give it a little bit of gas. Not a lot. Just try to crawl forward so you can get the grip that way. Yeah, because when it bounces around, when it gets out of the treads, it grips. But it can't stay up there if it just falls back in. I thought tries, you had it that time. <laughs> if you try straight a little bit and then turn, like well, it the, off. The problem is if you launch sideways on this, it's a real quick way to be on your roof. You know what I mean? So it's like you don't want to go too far sideways. You might have to, you're probably gonna have to back up a tad bit. The problem is I can't go back here because I will roll this if I go that way. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bounce it, bounce it. Except mm. I screwed that up. You've got about a six more inches, you could come back okay. probably. There? Yeah. Yeah, get that bounce a go. It. Yeah. You could actually, I have an idea. Come all the way this way. It's a lot, it's shorter here. Okay. You could come, so turn. Like that. Yeah, get back a little bit more. And then there. come like full driver. Right. Yeah, come forward a bit. Now hard passenger and up back. There you go. <laughs> all it takes is the right spot, right? Yeah. Battled 
Now just, I would straighten out and come straight up it. Let me check the other side. Yeah, you'll just have a pretty, pretty good, uh, probably, yeah, maybe six to... We'll bounce it. Ready? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. That was fun. That? All right. That was an awesome day of off-roading. Um, you know, it started off, I came out here on my own and ended up meeting some really cool people after they rescued me from a creek that I had mistakenly driven right into. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was awesome. They, uh, they showed me around a couple of really cool little trails called the Razor Loop. It's a lot of side-by-sides go out there, but it was just us out here right now in the winter. It's fairly empty. Um, yeah, I mean, I had a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget, as always, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel, uh, you know, helps me, helps allow me to continue making these, these cool videos. Have a lot of fun doing it. So, appreciate it. See you guys.